hello you guys welcome back to my channel so this video is actually going to be something very new for you guys so everybody knows me as fitness you know i'm in the gym all the time and that's what i was going to do with my page but actually i've been thinking for a long time that i actually want to start showing more of the gardening that i do because i actually just started getting into gardening so I've been going back and forth on if I want my page to be fitness or if I want it to be about gardening. And I just kind of came to the conclusion that we're just going to do a lifestyle one. So it's going to be about some fitness and some gardening. So I'm going to show you guys me the, what I have started so far in our backyard. Um, again, this is my first year starting a garden. My first year having a greenhouse. Um, yeah, it's basically a first for everything. So you're going to be with me from the very beginning so that's exciting so i'm gonna go ahead and give you a tour of what we started so far let's get to it all right joe so head into the backyard Okay, so here first, you're gonna see the garden bed that we started. Um, my boyfriend's parents actually got him this for his birthday. And I'm actually more excited to have it probably than he is. <laughs> I kind of felt like I got me a gift, but anyway. That's what I'm gonna show you guys. We just, we got all the dirt in here. That's here. It's been raining a lot in South Carolina, too. We've been getting rain, and it's been cloudy for about two, three weeks, and it's going on three weeks. Okay, so here you see we filled it up with dirt, and we're just allowing the rain to kind of just, you know, get all through the dirt and preparing the soil for the fall harvest. I'm not really sure everything I'm planning for the fall just yet. I'm getting that list together as well. I'll come back and make this all pretty. Okay, so this is some lettuce my boyfriend's mom gave us to try to grow. It was too hot for it, of course. It's summer, so all she did was just grow tall and eventually flowered. I was hoping she would give me some seeds, but she actually didn't. So if you guys know any tips and tricks on like the seeding process versus the flowering process. Like I said, I'm still learning, so if you know anything, let me know. Okay, before I go to the greenhouse over there, I have a few things on the balcony that I'm gonna show you. I actually wanna show you guys this too. <clears throat> I'm not sure the name of this plant. I gotta find out the name. Actually, I did look it up, I can't remember. Anyway, we had this in the house. I got this from Lowe's. We had it in the house and it was dying. So I brought it outside and just kind of let it do its own thing and kept watering it and she is coming back beautifully. I'm actually starting to really love it now. But yeah, she's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna show you the balcony first. Oh, in here I have some carrots trying to see if they're gonna grow. Um, me and my boyfriend's mom pulled some carrots out of her garden. Well, that was like last week, I think. Yeah, like last week. Um, she has a YouTube as well, you guys, called P. Gardner. So, P. Smith Gardner. Sorry, P. Smith Gardner. And she's actually, her garden is so beautiful. I'm going to have to put the link in so you can see it as well. But yeah, we're going to see if the carrots are going to come up. I have the trumpet plant here growing and a matching one. And you see how this is doing better than this one? This one was actually planted in better dirt, more compost, more soil, good soil. And this one was planted in sand in a mix of compost at first. And this one's not doing as great as that one, which I kind of projected, but just wanted to see what would happen. But anyway, this one is actually now the same mixture as this. I repotted this, um, when is what, Sunday? This past Sunday or Saturday, so. Okay, so here, going up the stairs, 
we're trying to see what we can do with two pineapples. Um, I just bought two pineapples and I was like, hmm, let's see if I can actually plant these. And they're doing well. You can see it's still growing new leaves here. And all you really have to do is make sure you keep the middle wet. So you don't technically have to water the soil. And again, South Carolina has been getting a lot of water. So the soil is pretty damp. But this one has, I had this, this one I've had longer. It's been a couple of months I had this one. This one's a new one. But yeah, you see how the middle is still a little bit wet? Yeah, you just gotta keep some water in that middle and it'll keep sprouting leaves and eventually turn into the pineapple. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna put these two in the garden bed once we're done. Once I repot for everything else. Got alloys, you know we love the alloy veras. These alloys have been through a lot, y'all. Through the winter, they turned brown. We had five, two did not survive. Two didn't survive. When the winter came, it attacked and we had snow. The snow attacked it very, very well, so. Oh, it's rosemary over here. So the thing with my rosemary, it actually was browning. We had her sitting at first. We had her sitting over here, kind of where the lettuce was, but she was browning over there. I don't know if she needed more sunlight. I assume she needed more sunlight. So I put her on the deck to get a little bit more sun and all of her, all the leaves came back. So, eventually I'm going to um, try to separate it, I hope, because there's two. But I don't know. I might just leave it alone. Okay, so we got my cucumber starting that I'm going to plant for the fall. This is the seedling. Again, my mom's boyfriend gave me. She started from seed. And it is sprouting lovely, getting ready. We have sage in this corner. We have a whole sage bush in the back that I can show you guys. <clears throat> this eucalyptus, I'm gonna show you really quick. Yeah, we have one eucalyptus here. Isn't she beautiful? My boyfriend tied her up and I fell in love with her all over again. Her pot is beautiful too. Let me show you the other one. They are so beautiful. You see all the new green leaves yes okay so we bought this eucalyptus about a year ago i think probably more than that more than a year ago it wasn't really growing it was kind of stagnant if you look at it you'll see all the old leaves and that's really all we had all these bright green leaves you're seeing now just sprouted up this summer like all, I'm sorry, my hand is in, the, is in the way. There we go. Yes, all of that. Just sprouting. It's so beautiful. And it lasted the winter. It does well in harsh weather. So if you're thinking about getting one, it's some work, but you can do it. this i gotta figure out the name i forgot the name of this plant as well but my boyfriend's mom told us that it is very good for your smoothies and it is very healthy for you we had it just randomly growing in the front the previous owner she had this just in the beds of the gardens that she had in the front of the house and we realized what it was and we just dug it up and put it back here and it just took over lovely we really just picked it up and put it in the pot and it came back beautifully okay okay the lovely greenhouse let's go through it have some sweet potatoes here that is doing amazing. I can't wait to see what those looks like. 
this onion here we actually started this onion was an onion in the house and it was sprouting because I had it sitting in the pantry you guys I'm learning how to store my food properly so don't pick at me too much I'm getting there um, it started sprouting in the pantry because it was dark and we just it was actually just one of these now it's three it's like yeah it's three snails but it was just one at first and we just put in some dirt and she's giving me some green onions I'm gonna actually probably cook this sometime next week to try it strawberries it's time for my strawberries to grow but um my strawberries I actually whenever at first I was letting it fruit but as I was researching and watching YouTube videos, anytime I see a fruit come, I'm cutting it off so I can replant it and allow the fruit and the fruit and the harvest to be better next time, next harvest season. I have some kale. The kale is not doing as well as I thought it should be. But again, it is summer and it is in the greenhouse. We have the grapevine. This is the white grape the white grapevine this tall one is the red grapevine excited to try that this is also what i'm excited y'all the kiwi y'all see this kiwi vine growing and she is stretching she is loving it she really just flourished out of nowhere i definitely can't wait that we pot that and all my greens they have been trying to survive, y'all. They're so small because they just need to be repotted. They need nutrients. But it's so hot in here for them. So when the fall gets closer, probably next month in August, it's July now. Probably August, I'm repotting all of these into the bed, into the, the garden bed over there. Some thyme that needs to be repotted. She is going crazy and then this is Italian oregano Italian oregano when I repotted this I didn't repot it so well you see like she's kind of just sitting you see that she kind of just sitting on top of the soil so I'm gonna give her her own space my tomato plant was doing great at first and now she is just stagnant she is not doing anything she has one one tomato on here that is like the growth is stunted i don't know what happened it could have gotten too hot i'm not really sure we'll see i have another new tomato plant here this one's supposed to get small mango like tomatoes spearmint back there i tried to see the tomato in here that never came up i didn't do it correctly so that's kind of on me I had it in the greenhouse, which you shouldn't do when you're trying to see. This was a bell pepper. It actually sorry y'all, my video got cut off. So the bell peppers. This was supposed to be a red bell pepper. The bell pepper that I picked from it was actually orange. So I don't know. And it hasn't really had any fruit since then. So we'll wait and see. I'm gonna have to everything in here I'm gonna repot. So I'm just letting everything just kind of do its thing. This was supposed to be a purple cauliflower. Of course, it is too hot for the greenhouse to be in here. For it to be in the greenhouse, it's supposed to be growing in the fall. So I'm gonna actually repot it and re-try to do this again next month in August. We have another sage in the, for the greenhouse. This is our jalapeno plant. It made me one juicy jalapeno. It really did, and that was it. I haven't, and it is contaminated. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Oh, you see that? It is contaminated with aphids. Like, you see up under the leaves? Yeah, it's contaminated. So we're working on that. This is a yellow tomato plant. I just got this, so I'm going to see what that does. This is supposed to be in the green. This was the green bell pepper plant. No, this is the red. Sorry, I see red now. This is supposed to be red. That one's supposed to be green, but they both came out orange. So, don't know what happened there. This is a cherry tomato plant I just got. It had a couple of cherry tomatoes on it that I was able to try, and it was good. So, 
we'll see what else it can produce for me spearmint down here we got some purple basil and sweet basil oh my gosh this smells it smells so good sweet basil oh my god best smelling Ugh, I just can't even describe this is some type of pepper <clears throat> Yeah, so my greenhouse, the greenhouse flipped over and knocked down everything. So some of our tags that I had up in there, like we had handmade tags, um, I lost them. So, but I think this is some type of pepper. This is our lemon tree. Boyfriend's mom gave us. She's doing pretty good. And you see she got a baby. She has a couple baby leaves trying to come. So, it's time to put her in something new too soon. This is another type of bell pepper. And this is another mango-like tomato plant. I just repotted it, so we'll see. She has a few. Does it? Hold on, I thought, uh, huh. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I turned the plant the other day, so I was like, what happened? She has one. She has, oh, two, one. That's two growing, so. Excited. They are so good, too, y'all. The tomatoes come out. Um, once those once those drop, that means they're ready. And you open the shell, and it's like this yellowish, orangish tomato. It is so sweet. So good. My blueberry plants. Plants. Don't know what I'm saying. Blueberry plant bush. Sorry, it's not a plant, it's a bush. My blueberry bush. Her name is Esther because my mom got this for me and she named it Esther. And I shall honor her name for her. And she has blueberries on her. Just a little bit. I gotta find a spot for her in the ground or something. Or I'll probably do a grow bag. We'll see. I'm going to order some grow bags on Amazon tomorrow. And I'm gonna experiment with those eggplant she did give me one eggplant that i took off and now she's still growing she's trying to produce more but you know of course she needs room as well my squash my poor choked out squash i'm going to put this in the garden bed as well but or a garden bag a growth bag sorry or my garden bed but we'll see i don't want it to go too crazy but squash is going to do what it do I don't have a choice on that. Over my last tomato plant, this tomato plant grew from seed and it's doing the same thing that the other tomato plant is doing. It's just, it was producing fruit, it then got stagnant. I don't know, maybe it's the um, greenhouse. But I'm gonna experiment. I'm gonna see. I was able to get a couple tomatoes off of this. Actually, I can go ahead and get that one off too. I might as well. And now it has no more. Hopefully these will make me some, but I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's the greenhouse, you guys. Again, if you know any gardening tips and tricks that you can give me, I am here for it. I am new. I'm loving it. I, at first, I was like, I would never have a garden. That would never be me. And look at me. 28 years old. And now I'm with the garden. And I'm going to show you our three herb bushes back here too. Behind the garden. <clears throat> so we have the sage herb bush that we just planted. She was starting to die in the pot. So we said let's just put her in the ground. And to be honest, she's looking way better. Like She's way greener. She was turning yellow and dying off. So, And her mugwort. Oh my god. Y'all, this mugwort bush grew from one stem. And that one stem died in the winter. And ended up coming back for the summer as a bush. And she is crazy. I love it. And the citronella did the same thing. Citronella died in the winter. She only had one stem left spring come i mean i'm sorry not spring some this summer comes she's a whole bush so i just love like understanding and learning how plants die 
certain seasons and you think they're gone for good and then they just randomly come back and they come back even better so I'm learning as I go and I'm loving it so thank you guys for checking out my first gardening video again I'm gonna keep you updated on the entire process as we start into the fall seasoning for our crops and our harvest I'm going to walk you through it you walk me through it give me some ideas I'll give you ideas we're gonna get it started see you guys next time